हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडी वी विल बी स्टडिंग क्लास फिफ्थ मैथ चैप्टर नंबर नाइन डेसिमल फ्रैक्शन प्रैक्टिस सेट नंबर थर्टी सिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू कम्प्लीट इन टू डेज वीडियो नाउ दिस एक्सरसाइज इज वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व बट इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू रिमेंबर सो यू ऑल हैव टू लर्न इट फ्रॉम द बेसिक यू ऑल हैव टू स्टडी द बेसिक्स बिफोर एडिंग द डेसिमल पॉइंट इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इजी वेन यू रिवाइज इट की यू ऑल हैव टू कीप कीप ऑन रिवाइजिंग इट इन ऑर्डर टू रिमेंबर दैन बिकॉज इट इज लिटल ट्रिकी वंस यू हैव यूज अ टेंथ हंड्रेड थाउजेंड्स प्लेस देन यू माइट गेट कन्फ्यूज बट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी आर ओनली गोइंग टू लर्न द टेंथ प्लेस ओके सो वॉट इज डेसिमल पॉइंट वेन वी एड अ डेसिमल पॉइंट इन दिस वे it is known as a decimal point okay the symbol is called a decimal point the decimal point is used to write 8 5 upon 10 as 8.5 now i am going to teach you how you all have to convert this mixed fraction into a simple number okay so it is very easy basic rule you all have to fo uh, follow these rules are applicable for 10 100 and 1000 as well but you all have to remember the rules and you all have to keep on practicing as i said in this exercise we are going to only study about the 10th place but in the next exercise there is 100 and 1000 place also then it might get confused so let's read it this is read as 8.5 8.5. Okay, so 23 upon 10 can be written as 20.3. Now, why we are taking this decimal point after one number? Because in a simple way, when there is 10, 10 is having one zero. Okay, one zero means after decimal point there should be one number. Okay, decimal point के बाद एक number होना चाहिए when there is 10. Okay, so I'll be explaining you hundred and thousand also in today's video only. But the exercise I will be solving in the next video so that it might uh, get confused for you all. You all have to practice this first, and then let's solve it. So this is the exercise. Let's solve it. First one is three nine upon ten. Okay, now this is a mixed fraction, and what we have to do, we have to convert it into a decimal form, and we have to write it also. You can read the question on page number fifty-three of your textbook. First, we have to convert it into a decimal form. That is three. We have to write first. That is before decimal point. Okay, then we have to add a decimal point and a nine. After decimal point, there should be one digit when there is a tens. Okay, so how you are going to read this? Three point nine. Isn't it easy? Second one is one four upon ten. Hundred and thousand. I will show you at the end so that it will not get confused for you, but it will be a revision for you all for the next exercise. Now, one as I said has to be on the right hand side, or sorry, left hand side of the decimal point, and on the right hand side of the decimal point, you will add only one digit that is four. So, one point. Four. See one zero after decimal point one digit. Next is five three upon ten. So five will come to the left hand side of the decimal point. To the right hand side will come three because there is a zero. So after one. Uh, after after decimal point only one digit has to come so this you have to write in the form of alphabets that is 5.3 fourth one is 8 upon 10 now you will notice there is not a mixed fraction only a simple fraction has been given this is a mixed fraction as i showed you all now what you all have to do there is no number over here and now to the left hand side there is no number so what you all have to do write a zero and this number will come after decimal point so 
zero point eight. Don't get confused with these kind of sums. Same method, but you all have to be alert while writing it. Fifth one is seven upon ten, so zero point seven. Same method. And the way you are going to read it, the same way you all have to write it, zero point seven. Okay, now I will show you the same number. This example, as I said, I am going to show you in the form of hundred and thousand also, as it is going to be the next topic of our problem set. So I am going to give you a slight revision so that it will be clear for you all what you all have to exactly do in the next exercise and why I am explaining you all that you all have to. First, concentrate on tens and then hundred and then thousand. So, if I take the same number seven upon hundred, so यहाँ पे तो number नहीं है. Then we have to add zero as usual, then a decimal. Now you will see there are two zeros. So we need two numbers over here. But over here only one is there. So I will take zero seven. Got it. Now same I will take for thousand. So first I will take zero. Three zeros are there. So over here how many numbers we will need? How many digits we are going to need? Three. So one, two, and the third one is going to be seven. Got the difference, children? So this is what I am explaining you all that when you are doing one digit that is ten. Then it becomes very easy, but when you all are doing all the numbers together, like hundred and thousands together, it might get difficult for you all. Now, this was for the simple fraction. I will take this example and show you the two examples for thousands and hundred. So five three upon hundred. If we take, so how are you going to write it in the decimal form? Five will come to the Left hand side, then a decimal point. Now we need two numbers, so we need two digits over here also. So zero three is going to be your conversion of mixed fraction into a decimal point. Point when there is hundred in the denominator. Got it? Got the difference? See, this was for tens. This is for hundred. Now for thousand, I'm going to show you with the same example. These you all don't have to do. This is for your explanation, children. So five point there has to be three digit zero zero three. Okay. So this is this was our revision for you all. You all don't have to solve the sums. Are only these are the sums. Next is going to be problem set number thirty seven, which I am going to explain you all with this table also. Okay, how you have to read it, how you all have to write it. I'm going to teach all in the next exercise. This was only the revision to sort the confusion between ten, hundred, and thousand. I hope this exercise was clear to everyone. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.